Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We run September 10th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Always starting out here looking at our sun. At 304 angstroms, able to see all the plasma filaments. Keeping an eye on those so they don't rip away towards Earth. No coronal holes, Earth facing, no sunspots to talk about. Small elevation in solar wind speeds. Looking here at the chart, real time solar data phase two. We're sitting at 511 kilometers per second. So no geo geomagnetic storms to talk about. But earthquakes, definitely, there's a lot to talk about. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We did have a 4.6 yes last night in Austin, Nevada, as we saw an earthquake increase throughout Ridgecrest. And of course, California, and in Oregon with a 4.8. Also, Venezuela with a 5.5 at a 10 kilometer depth. That was yesterday. And there was another earthquake that was reported in Brazil, a 5.9. Recorded in other places, but not on USGS. Here's a 5.6 at a 55 kilometer depth in the Philippines. And deepest earthquake last 24 hours, 204 kilometers deep in Fiji. And as well today, a 5.0 South Sandwich Islands. So definite increase, Northern Hemisphere, Eastern side of the Ring of Fire. So Cascadia fault line, San Andreas fault line, and South America. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of deep earthquakes. You can see those elevated rings. all over the planet, really. The last seven days, our Earth looks chicken pocked with earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared, have a plan and be ready. The big one is coming. I don't know exactly when, but it's coming. We are long overdue. The Cascades, San Andreas, Let's get to, to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Overlooking all the latest volcanoes that have erupted and gotten updates. Nevados de Chilean, Roventador, Simaru in Indonesia, and Popo, and as well all of these fires. South America is still raging with forest fires especially parts of Paraguay and Bolivia as they're experiencing extreme heat throughout Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Look at that, there's at least a hundred fires. Africa has calmed down a little bit. They did get quite a bit of daytime evaporation rain the last couple days. So the Congo region seems to be calm. Overlooking NASA worldview here, wanted to get an update on the fires in Australia. This is what it looks like from space. Doesn't look like those fires are under control at all. As well, looking at fires in the northeastern parts of the country. And as well in the north. Looking over Africa. And you can see the fires have calmed down. The fires were a lot further south a few days ago. And then it's just a very sad situation throughout Bolivia and Paraguay. San Jose here. Look at this thick 
smoke choking out Bolivia. And towards the northeast, parts of Brazil. Thoughts and prayers for the Amazon. Thoughts and prayers for all of those affected by Hurricane Dorian as well. Wanted to show you here a long atmospheric river straight across the five Canadian provinces. Now, something I wanted to show you here as well is our wind streams. This is a null, null school. And you're able to see all of the winds from around the world at different levels. So this is surface level. And we're just going to get to 10,000 feet and further. And look at our southern hemisphere. Huge split polar vortex. Cold temperatures straight across Australia. But very, very strong vortex. The split vortices in the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere doesn't look anything like this. It's a little bit more organized and definitely not as extreme. But equatorial winds are really starting to pick up. I mean, look at this, Argentina. They've probably received the most snowfall that they've ever seen on the western coast of Argentina. Overlooking tropical storm coverage. Not much to talk about here. The two major storms are about to fade away. Gabriel and Faxi. Overlooking North America, large low pressure system coming in off the Rockies will bring some extreme weather towards Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, and into the Canadian provinces, Ontario, and then Quebec later in the week. Watch for heavy amounts of rain and as well thunderstorm conditions. Looking over southeastern provinces, we have a small area of interest moving into the Florida Panhandle later this week. Keeping an eye on that. Atlantic Ocean, area of interest forming just east of the Caribbean. Overlooking Europe, United Kingdom, definite cool down as that large low, which is actually parts of Hurricane Dorian, will be affecting you guys later in the week. As well, watch for some extreme weather conditions throughout Portugal and Spain, as this weather system seems to hang around for days. will bring some flooding conditions and some extreme weather. Towards Portugal. South America, not too much to talk about. Just praying for rain there. Large system moving in here to Alaska. Watch later in the week as that large low heads into the Alaskan Peninsula. And another low just below it, heading into the BC coastline. Long atmospheric river of rain for lower parts of British Columbia. And still watching monsoon rains. This has been one of the most devastating monsoon seasons. Watching a huge area of interest here over the West Pacific later in the week. We'll see where this one goes. Definitely keeping an eye on it because it's huge. And that's what I'm noticing around the world is that these low pressure systems are getting bigger. They're getting stronger. They're getting deeper. Australia, very cool temperatures across southeastern parts. Not much weather to talk about though. Still a very dry continent. 
I want to thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world so that we can all stay aware and prepared. If you're here looking at Southern Hemisphere versus Northern Hemisphere, thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.